What's up guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. In this chapter, we're gonna focus on how to create catalog files, the Lightroom catalog, as well as how to import images and how to take those images out or export those images when you're done with them. So let's get started. We're gonna start by opening up Lightroom 4. Now what I've done is I actually removed the previous uh, catalog file that we were working on. So when I double click on Lightroom, it's gonna bring up a dialog box. Because in my preferences, I have selected open the previous catalog file, well, it tried to open it, it tried to locate it, but it couldn't find it. So it brings up this dialog box that says Lightroom catalog was not found. It gives you a couple options. We can either exit or we can use the default catalog or choose a different catalog. Now, there's a shortcut to creating a new catalog. If that's what I wanna do, if I wanna create a new catalog, well, I can go to choose a different catalog and I can say create a new catalog right from this menu right here. Or if we get into Lightroom, I'm gonna quit out of this, I'm gonna load it again. This time it opens up the default uh, Lightroom catalog. This is the Lightroom catalog that gets installed default when you install Lightroom. And I typically will never import photos in this catalog because I don't want photos, I don't wanna be using this catalog. So the other way to create a new catalog is to go into the file, new catalog menu. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to navigate to where we want that uh, file to be. And I want it to be in my Lightroom 4 A to Z training DVD folder on my hard drive. And we're gonna name that, that uh, Lightroom catalog. Now what's going to happen when you create a Lightroom catalog when you type in the file name here is it's going to create a folder and then put the catalog file inside of that folder. So I'm going to create a folder called 00 and I'm, I'm naming it 00 because I want it to appear at the top. So I'm going to call it 00 LR4 uh, A to Z catalog. Okay when we hit save it's gonna automatically close the current catalog and bring up the new catalog, Lightroom 4 A to Z catalog. If I go into my uh, browser window, my Explorer window, or in Finder on Mac, then you can see that if you go to that folder, you have the 00LR4 A to Z catalog folder created. And inside of that, Lightroom put the actual Lightroom catalog, which is this .lrcat file. Now, this preview folder is actually just for thumbnail and standard size previews that are generated. Remember, one-to-one -one previews, full-size previews when you're editing and developing are actually being stored inside of the cache folder. If this previews folder gets deleted, not a big deal. Lightroom is gonna generate new ones. You're not losing any actual data. If this catalog file gets deleted, that is a problem. This catalog file is where all of your settings, everything that you're doing to those images is stored non-destructively inside of a catalog file. And that catalog file is essentially just a database of all these settings. And we talked about this before, but I wanna briefly go over it again just to kind of hammer it into your heads. The catalog file is that database of all the settings that you created, whether it be flags and starring systems and, and develop settings or presets, whatever it is that you're doing to those images is stored inside of this, this file. So when you run the Lightroom catalog backup, this is what you're actually backing up, is this Lightroom catalog file. Now the lrcat.lock and the .journal files uh, are actually temporary files that are being used only while Lightroom is open. So if I close Lightroom, those two files will be deleted and we're left with just our lrcat file. So when we wanna open a particular uh, catalog file, we can just navigate to that folder, double click on that catalog file and it'll automatically pop open Lightroom with that catalog loaded up. Now we haven't loaded images into this yet and there are several different ways to load up images or to import our images into Lightroom. So let's go on to the next tutorials where we start on importing basics.